Hello everyone, my name is Rajesh Kumar and I'm your DevOps SRE DevSecOps coach. I have a uh, close to 18 plus years of experience working uh, in uh, multiple MNSCs around the globe and uh, having in-depth knowledge of DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. Uh, so I would like to introduce you uh, one certification program in a DevOps and that is we, we call it DevOps Certified Professional. Uh, now this is a two months of program, 25 tools uh, of DevOps you will learn. And uh, apart from that, you will also get the access to the LMS, lifetime access to the videos portal. It's a certification program and uh, you will have 25 assignments and two projects along with it. It's a completely weekend program. So here you have a classes on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, so as part of this course, you will learn multiple things. Here you see that uh, you will learn Linux, AWS, Docker, Jira, Confluence, Python, Git with GitHub, SonarQ, Maven, Gradle, Packer, Artifactory, Selenium, Jmeter, Ansible, Kubernetes, Helm, Terraform, Jenkins, Datadog, Splunk, and Neuralink. Uh, now, how do we, uh, you know, apply for this? So how can you reach out to us? So you have a WhatsApp number and email ID. So please uh, reach out to us and we'll help you to onboard this program. Uh, apart from this uh, DevOps certified professional programs, we are offering other certifications as well in a DevSecOps, SRE and uh, one of the very, very comprehensive programs which we have is in, ma is in Master in DevOps Engineering. Yeah, so feel free to get in touch with us and then uh, enroll for it. Thank you. Okay, so the first thing, which I'm going to ask one question, and that is what is Datadog? So now if you're thinking uh, Datadog is a monitoring tool, uh, then let's not, okay? Let's not think about that. It's not a tool, it's a platform, okay? Now, platform for what? Uh, platform for observability. How many of you have heard about this observability? How many of you? Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. yeah. So what happens, I'll just put it in a very simple way. Okay. You can go through the internet and read about lots of jargon about observability. So basically uh, the old days we had a monitoring. Okay. Now that is dead. So now nowadays we call it observability. So now question is what is observ observability? So through the observability, we were trying to collect, mind it, I said collect, okay, matrices. Now, when I say matrices, that means CPU, RAM, hard disk, network, uh, you know, Apache matrix, SQL matrix, Oracle matrix, uh, uh, you know, Tomcat matrix, Java matrix. So you are collecting the matrices. And then you are also collecting the logs. And then you are also collecting the APM. You are also collecting the synthetic and you are also connecting the rum so these are the things you collect so first collect and after that once you have at one platform then what you do alerts and dashboard and this is called observability now that that means at one page you have metrics from the server logs from the server all the traffic to the server all the synthetic traffic and real traffic also on the same server on one page so this process we call it observability so earlier we used to have a monitoring that means we were only doing metrics monitoring alerting and dashboard these are the three things earlier we were doing now we want to set up the observability and that's a goal for any organizations to have it now this observability keyword if you see that it has been coined recently a lot uh, you see everyone is talking about observability so basically this has come because of sre so sre is become very popular because of google and in sre one of the important topic which we have is observability where you collect all the all the data and alerts and set up a dashboard that is what we want so at one place you have you should be having everything make sense all of you Yes. Okay, so this is a platform for observability. Now, this is a from Datadog. There's a company name itself is a Datadog. Okay, and must I must tell you here how it works. So this is very important. Okay, how it works. So here, uh, 
you can say architecture also so here uh, datadog is based on the software as a service what does that mean what does that mean all of you so that means if you ask me rajesh i want to install the datadog server then i would say it's not possible because it's a it's a cloud applications cloud applications you can use it for, through the internet make sense all of you yes okay yes. so now what is the how it works very simple guys uh, you have uh, multiple sources you have a datadog agent uh, which is uh, you are running in the multiple places you have datadog agent you have apm agent you have um, logs agent okay you have uh, all this you know uh, ram agent and all stuff like that okay I'll, i'm not pushing this topic right now because last topic so all these types of agent you have and this collect the data from the different locations very simple different locations okay and then send it to datadog website that's all so it's very simple so here datadog is become a storage actually if you look at this datadog uh, saas model it's become a storage you understanding all of you yeah yeah yes yes yeah. so here uh, let's put it up uh, i'll explain you what is a apm and all little bit later but for the picturization this is very important actually so let's say this is your uh, laptop okay and here uh, this is your i need a server matrix so i'll install the agent here configure the agent i'll teach you that's a, not a big deal an agent will collect the data from the system various different types of uh, matrices and store at datadog website it's a cloud based software as a service based software so here it's a everything storage monitoring dashboarding alerting everything you do it here that's a website i'll show you that and you will log in to the datadog website and do whatever you want what you want you want to explore the data you explore the matrices right first thing you want to create alerts that's the second thing third thing you want to create a dashboard so this is something you log into the datadog and do whatever you want so this is simple architecture so this agent we have a different types of agent okay uh, datadog agent the one which i was talking about which will collect is, the do, do you do you mind repeating the, that architecture i didn't i didn't get it sir yeah so here this is a laptop maybe it's your server okay? yeah 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 okay. and and i want to i want to have this this mattress from this server at a datadog website so i'll install the agent here and this agent will collect the data and send to datadog and you this is you you will explore the data set up alert and set up a dashboard at a datadog website oh on the website oh okay yeah yeah okay. so that's what i said no it's a saas based model you cannot install the server it's a saas based model that means you have a control of agent but you don't have control of saas uh, website so when we when we install the agent we're installing the agent on our on our server huh right yes, well, well, yes okay. on your server from where okay. you want to collect the matrices that is the one makes sense thank you okay so that is how it works so you have to work on the datadog agent apm agent log agent ram agent synthetic agent and this will collect the data from the different different sources send it to datadog and then you can check it out this is you okay you can check it out at datadog okay so i hope you have understood that all of you Yes. Okay, so today uh, primarily the topic is how to install Datadog agent Datadog agent in Windows and how to install Datadog agent in Linux. That's all. So this is the two things I'm going to show you. Also, I'm going to teach you how to enable process monitoring. This is something which I'm going to do that and also I can cover how to uh, monitor Docker container. 
so these are the things which i'll show you i'll record this session i'll share with you you can practice it also offline okay so let's get into the demo directly so first thing what i have to do you know uh, first thing i have to create an account so didrock provide 14 days trial account for everyone you can uh, you know get it account without email id also the only thing which i'm asking you all to use it reason us1 oh, why us1 okay uh, us1 because uh, in the datadog agent executable uh, this is hard coded so you don't have to change the region anywhere and all so just it's easy you can use any reason for the sake of it but you have to modify that uh, configuration file for agent so that right now i don't want you to get into the complexity now let's use this app uh, 20 and then fab and then devops school okay so this is the email id rajesh kumar and devops school password and then some phone number and sign up that's all so you got the account access uh, i should remember this id okay because i'm going to use throughout my session right so yeah so what what to do so here you have uh you see where your account your stake all stuff so what exactly this is look at my screen all of you so here okay one thing i have to do just a second hold on i just want to check uh this is not uh, logged into previous account just to make sure that my browser is not logged into uh, just a second get started free first like i'll try login and no it's not logged in now so get started free Okay, I have a, I already registered accounts. Let me try that. And uh, I missed that actually. Okay, so let me register a new account. Okay, go back. Get started free. And here one email id rajesh kumar devops school password and sign up okay so i created a new account now this is the one so yeah earlier this account was exist actually that's the reason i got it confused so this is the right uh, one so here you are asking you're being asked like what uh, you want to monitor you may select you may not select that's up to you it's not compulsory i selected few i selected few servers and all this is just for the metrics purpose for the data dog nothing functional now this is important agent setup so here look at this uh, i want to set up a data dog agent which is which will get me the matrices so that is what i'm trying to collect it so now if you look at this here it's very simple though okay uh here uh these are the if you look at this, these are the operating systems okay so how to install the agent you have a, a script given as per your operating system so whichever you want to go ahead now if you look at it a little bit downside these options where you are agent will run in form of container i hope uh, all of you are comfortable with the container correct hello yes i understand containers yes so this is the containers now if you look at little bit down uh, these options primarily here and if you see that these are the configuration management tool 
so using these options uh, you can get a help for deploying agent in hundreds of machines so you'll have a chef cookbook up with module or ansible rule and all and they will give it to you this code ready-made code using that you can install the agent in hundreds of servers in one go so this is the options okay so i have a uh, two operating systems or uh, two vms excuse me sorry uh, can you please yeah. let me know what is meant by container uh, container is basically coming from the docker okay so just a second my mouse is not moving i guess yeah so there is a one tool called docker okay and docker manages the container and inside the container you can run applications so this is a very straightforward app uh, definition but uh, uh, i don't want to give you something uh, you know uh, where you get more confused so let's say if you don't know the container uh, just go through some of the docker few hours of uh, courses that will help you because there's no one line explanation i'm i'm 100 percent sure you'll not understand that okay so let's say if you want to learn docker after that you need to learn kubernet and after that you have to learn many other tools like helm and istio and all kind of things so many tools you have to learn so start this journey uh, without further delay because you are already late uh, so docker is important then kubernet is important so i'll put it in this way uh, earlier we were running the application in a physical server okay after that we are started running in a virtual server now we are running in a application in a container so this is important topic okay hello yes okay yeah so talk to patrick uh, he will assign some access of docker uh, of my recordings and other recordings also uh, so you have to finish this one as soon as possible okay so now i was doing something so yes i have a two machines here this is the linux machine and this is the windows machine so let me get the ip address of windows uh, so this machines i got it here so what i'm going to do i am going to install the agent in it so just wait for a few seconds so yeah so this machines will be created in few seconds let it come meanwhile i'll finish this linux one okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to install the agent but this machines so i know this is ubuntu okay it can be any operating system let me check this because i always keep forgetting uh, this lab environment depends on the training so let me open up this machine username is azure user password is this one enter now here i'll just make this view better so you can see that well apply okay so done now i've logged into this linux machine now question is how can i monitor this server how can i monitor linux server so this is a, a, a ubuntu so let me go to this place and here we say ubuntu windows uh, davian centos rhl all these thing you can see it here and the agent the version which you are installing is 7 i must tell you here this version which this agent which you see basically it's a open source product actually so datadog has made it this as an open source though datadog is a paid software but agent is open source okay and this agent you can install in 20 different operating system and i must tell you also this agent had been written in golang old version of agent was written in python but the latest version of uh, agent is written in golang so please remember that so now the question is how can we install it so i click here okay and installing see you should read this don't rush here's an older version of agent here's a new version of agent and this code if you look at it very carefully this code will install it's a web script this code will install your agent in your machines here so here you have a keys this is the region and this is the script which will run in your boxes with this key and region and this will be installing that agent simple right so now what i'm going to do i'm just going to 
run in this machine so clear this screen copy paste and enter that's all so in linux is very easy in windows also is very easy uh, you will get a powershell code you will get a windows code or manually also you can install it okay so i have i'm installing the windows agent uh, sorry linux agent datadog agent and done so almost done okay so now you see that here uh, agent has been started and all you can start stop and don't rush up okay just understand this see here this is the configuration file for datadog that means datadog agent if you want to modify any default behavior you have to modify this file always remember uh, same files is been here also and so on so it was not difficult thing so now if you want to see the status of datadog agent and status you see here enter now it's running and now if you want to check that few commands like one of the important command is datadog hyphen agent status so this will tell you what exactly the agent is capturing collecting the data and here you see log agent is not enabled right now api key is valid i gave in this now and uh, some of the other entries so just go through this you don't have to take a stress on it this is collecting memory load cpu input output and few other stuff file handles and all cpu here containers here and all so yeah these are being be, is being collected so now i installed it but the question is how do i check that whether it's been done or not i mean whether the data is being sent or not we'll have to wait for two minutes at least see that you have one host reporting i'll go to this here infrastructure list and you see that here this master that's the name of the node actually it's linux and data has not come yet but it'll start coming click on it and look at the uh, bigger one bigger view that will help you to understand the all sorry the sir infrastructure list um, it was you are a bit fast <laughs> so i was trying to see yeah here okay infrastructure infrastructure list okay yeah so i'm i'm doing the i'm doing the matrix right infra monitoring i'm doing here after that next class will go for log monitoring i'm in third class so like that okay this is so very here, this is, we are recording this right yes yes this is recording okay. I'll also share with you manual after some time. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, so now you see that here, CPU, all this collection has started happening. Uh, if you do the last five minutes, it will be more meaningful. See that CPU collections is started happening. Uh, memory is here, load, and you know swap, disk, and all stuff like that. So if you want to explore these matrices, you have to go to the Matrix Explorer. Where exactly? Here it is. Look at this. Uh, this is the see that this is the infra part okay and here you have a dashboard B beside that you have a, all alertings here you have a exploding the, all the matrix which is you are storing in the data data dog and here you have an integration i'll teach you here apm and some logs here you have synthetic and ram here you have so like that that's the reason i, uh, I you know convert it into the uh, multiple you know categories so it'll be easy for you to understand that okay so now if you want to explore the matrices i'll go to here okay and now these are the matrices you can explore so here are this matrix uh, these are the matrix which is coming by agent now you see all these matrix agent is sending all the matrix which is system dot or that blah, blah, blah. so you can experience this matrix here and uh, so on so here if you have five minutes or ten minutes or something like that here you see like this make sense all of you all of you yes yes okay so this was the how to monitor linux machine 
how to verify whether monitoring is on or not collection is going on or not and how to see explore how to see matrix data okay so exploding the matrices simple so this is something which was very easy now you'll say rajesh uh, you are very fast so i want to do step by step so what to do so you just come to this place type data doc install linux agent okay so here linux agent you have this is a ubuntu okay all the screen sh is shared here and this is the linux one right and this is a centos okay now centos this is the stuff now what i want while in offline uh, you must do all these steps and i will share little bit of more commands also so now if you see that i want you to run, run these commands also so this command will start the agent stop the agent restart the agent state check the status of the agent log of the agent you can find it you will have a three logs file four in fact sorry three uh, this is the location of of logs this is a configuration file if you want to modify the agent uh, in default behavior this file you have to modify and which config is enabled or not which uh, check config check config health hostname version so try to run this all commands and understand this so here you have a step by step details also what to do and all and you can it will help you make sense all of you yeah, all those commands are they in the scripts or or is that outside the script no these are the actually not outside of the script because script is here uh, this command is basically uh, is a datadog agent command for example if you want to know all the commands available for datadog so i'll just type it data dog hyphen agent after installation and plus hyphen h and these are the commands so here you need to learn this command and then this command so it's important for you because remember that uh, it, in this model if you see that not this one here you don't have control on the server but you have a control mm. on agent 100 percent correct now mm. so this command it will help you to learn the agent more better way and troubleshooting will help you so this is important okay gotcha. So yeah. try to, uh, because this is the learning which you have for this. Apart from that, there's nothing great about it. These are the things. Okay. okay so, so try to is, track. This is Linux, right? Yeah, this is Linux. Okay. No, okay. commands are remain same in Linux and Windows. Mind it. Commands are remain same in Windows and Linux. Okay. So Datadog, whether you is in, install in Linux or Windows, commands will remain same. Only the operating system is changed okay so that is the how to install in linux are you comfortable with it all of you well we try it <laughs> yeah okay so now next question is how do we install agent in windows so i have one windows machines let me get it just i created just for you guys so while doing the talking so this is a windows where is the windows here it is right no 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 i think actually uh hold on a second all resources and type Here it is. So this is the machine I created just now. And let me log into this. So I have this IP address and MSTSC, MSTSC, remote desktop, and log in to this. Okay. So now I logged in. Uh, it required username and password. So Rajesh is the username and password. I am going to give it enter. Now yes. okay so now this is the windows machines now the question is how do we install uh, how do we install agent in windows okay so that i'm going to show you just give me a few seconds
Okay, so now if you see that this is a Windows Server 2016 Server Edition. Now what I'm going to do because this is a Server Edition, so you know what will happen? The download will be prohibited from the internet. So what I'll do, I'll just go to the local server and uh, disable this IE security. So that way, what will happen? Uh, I will have a, I can be able to download Datadog agent executable. So where to get it? So here, go to the local server. This is the local server now and here you see the i enhance security configuration disable it that's all and click ok and close this not needed anymore so why Done. did you do that now huh why did you do that um, why because you... uh, this is server edition download will not be allowed with that on option that is a problem okay okay Download so, of what? Download, download. of the Datadog Insecure Environment? Agent, 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 agent. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So that is a. So where to go? So, guys, you have to come to this place. Uh, where is that? Infrastructure integration. And here you see agent. So earlier, when you enroll this new account, it pop up and widgets came while, you know, going through this. But if you want to go to that widgets, you have to come to integration and click on agent and uh, click i clicked on it mm. it's a little slow not sure why hmm. so now i'll go for this time windows okay now you see that here don't don't rush um read each and everything so here select the api key so first time in a Linux, it was automatically selected, but this time I have to select. One key is being created when you registered an account. You can create a multiple keys. So that's okay. I selected the keys. Now here, option number one, manually you can do this. Okay. Option number two, you can do through the command line also. Option number three, PowerShell also. It's up to you which one you want. But you know, I want to show you something which is happening in progress. So what I will do, I'll download this installer, copy, go to this box and here. You can do in your laptop also if you're comfortable, but I don't want to send, I mean, run in laptop right now. It's, uh, you know, uh, because it's my development setup. So I just copy and pasted the URL MSI file. You see that and it has uh, downloaded now. Under the download directory, you can go and check that. Uh, so now it has come. So where's the download here? This is the file. So this file I wanted to download, so I enable disable the IE, IE security. That's the worst practice, but you know I'm teaching you right now not to set up a production and all kind of things. So I'll just go so, and install so it. The, you... So in the prod environment, we, we wouldn't disable it. So how are we going to download it in the prod environment? So someone from your IT team, they will download it, keep it in the common location that will be accessible from that machine. So that's a usual practice what we do, right? Okay, okay. Manually, they will download it, keep it at a central location, uh, which is accessible from all of your servers, not from internet. So that is the way you can. Okay. So here, next and here accept the agreements and click and next here you have to give the keys so i have copied the keys here at one more time i'll copy this key key is important that will identify your account or someone else account and region go for one only okay because uh, i told you right uh, uh, you don't have to change any other configurations if you go for one uh, here this place you can give the username and password so who can access your agent right now i don't need it uh, so next and install that's all so now uh, if you remember that in the linux what we had in the linux our uh, location for configuration it was etc datadog agent this is the location please remember that uh, here so this is the configuration file which you have 
any changes you make it in this file you have to restart it okay and all this thing this file structure i'll explain you one by one not rushing to the points but in windows the location will be little different okay uh, i'll i'll show you that one let it come but i'll tell you one more thing when you when you install the agent in windows and mac there is a one thing which is coming which is ui gui for agent ui for agent which you don't have in linux default installation but in windows and mac it's coming with the default installation so that if you want the agent ui for linux also you can enable it but manual process but here automatically it's coming up so you see here that is called datadog agent manager i will launch this finish and now look at this here this is the something which i was talking about so if you don't like a command line too much though you should be liking it uh, let's say do you don't like it so you can check this out this is a ui for your agent this will get something similar in mac also linux by default you'll not get it you can enable it okay so here you can see the status log setting checks flare and restart agent all these thing you can do through this website by the way where is a location that i want to know configuration locations so if you see that here it's a program data datadog this is your configuration file so remember that in windows the location is different uh, under the program data and uh, you know what this directory will be hidden in fact so you have to go and uh, in order to see that see program data is not been shown right so what to do so i go to the view and here where is that uh hidden item right yeah here it is so now program data has come datadog has come and this is a configuration file have it some editor installed properly and you can see that so now i install the agent in windows now i would like to check uh, log you can see that here if there's any error you'll get to know uh, by the way in linux where to check the log i told you so now i want to go to datadog and check whether this is coming or not so same infrastructure infrastructure list i click on it and now see windows is coming and windows is coming linux is coming and i'm able to collect the data from windows also and i'm able to collect the data from linux also so see that all this matrices which is coming from the windows and explore it so are you understanding all of you yes for now priya any questions kartika Yeah. Kartika. Okay, so now I'll I'll teach you one more thing, which is very small thing. So let me finish that today only, and that is called uh, how to enable process monitoring. But before that, where is the documentation? So let me yeah, share th with you. Uh, uh, yeah, I think Kartika has typed in no. Yeah, yeah. Just a second, hold on. Datadog Windows. and you see here this is the datadog agent in windows step by step guide so here you have it recordings i'll give it to you so here you have all this screenshot which you can use it okay so this will help you something you were saying uh, joshua yes i think when you asked the question uh, i think katika is typing no yeah yeah no i have no question i understand it We need to okay. install the uh, agent in Windows right now. Agent in Windows, agent in Linux, both. Okay. 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 So here I install the agent in Windows. Here agent in Linux collection has started happening. We'll do the see. First, you collect all the data. So we'll collect the matrices. We'll collect the logs, MPM, synthetic RAM. Then we'll do alerting and dashboard. Anyways, so now I want you to enable the. process monitoring how can we do that so if you see that here you see the click on the processes and now you see here no agent reporting the processes all the processes what i am running in windows or linux is not reporting here so what to do nothing great about it you have to do uh, just you have to enable one option which is called process config so which i'll do in front of you let me do that so here if i want to enable something i have to modify this file and i know that entry okay this file is pretty huge actually don't get lost slowly you will get used to it 
so vi or data dog yaml this file is pretty hog i'll search for process underscore config i remember that so that's the reason i'm doing it you should go at least once the file see here this is a process configuration so here i will modify this entry and uncomment this one two here one two and here one two and here i'll make it true true that's all so this i enabled it and now process uh, enable will be done now anything you modify here you have to restart the agent so how do we restart agent i think you know that data dog hyphen agent and it will take a changes okay so i restart the process monitoring now you'll say rajesh i probably forget that options so what to do so let me share the documentations for it also so data dog process enter and here you see uh, this one how to enable live process monitoring in data dog agent so this tutorial will help you recordings you have anyways so this is something to get it done now can i verify i did it only in linux so can i verify so refresh this and go to the linux same changes you have to do in windows also for that and see the process monitoring has started enabling now see process of the server so right now these are the process i'm running and these are the cpu and these are the feed id and all the stuff like that make sense all of you yes i have a question now so yeah. you know you, you're using a server you know in the case of um, like windows so in life environments where there are a lot of servers right where there are a lot of yes, servers sir. How do you how do I modify that YAML file? When yes, a that's a very together, good question. What do I do? Uh, very good question, but answer you have in front of you. Here. Oh. This is the one. Got it? So these yeah. are the ways you can modify the configuration, install the agent, configure the agent, update the agent, all these things you can do through Chef or Puppet or ansible or salt lake so okay. these are the in my environment in my environment now we use ansible so so that that means if i want to if i want to configure so if i want to modify the that yaml file now in in ansible i can't i can't just vi into that file and ah no that's what i'm saying uh you should not do the vi what will happen uh I'll put it in this way. This is a Ansible server, okay? Ansible yeah. server. And now this is you. And uh, here, this datadog YAML file will be yeah. parameterized. So now, what will happen? Uh, the moment you deploy the Ansible playbook and role, this parameterized uh, datadog YAML will be deployed parallelly to hundreds of boxes by Ansible. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that will be done through ansible now if you go and check this let me show you they will say role they will give you a role for it using that you can install it so let me click on that so let's say you talk about the ansible in puppet we have a module chef we have a cookbook so let me show you so if you go here ansible look at this so th this is the playbook okay and this is the playbook again. Uh, they are using rules here. So they rules, uh, they, see here, this is a Ansible Forge, Ansible Galaxy. Yeah, this is the role you'll be having. So if you understand Ansible, this you'll understand very easy way. So free code, they have given it to you. This is the free code role and modify this, download and modify and then deploy. So it'll be easy. Okay, so, so this is to set it up, right? initially yeah yeah so now if you want to understand the ansible okay uh, uh in a for fundamental ways uh, just get some access to lms the videos and all uh, of mine so that will help you okay yeah okay so here if you look at this in puppet we have a module concept 
uh, so here you see these are the module concept and you can install this module through this command and in chef we have a cookbook concept okay see a cookbook like that so i think ansible go for ansible don't learn everything uh, it's not used ansible is the most popular one for configuration management that is more than sufficient okay any questions any other questions if you would have any issues with our channel membership, you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries. We will reply to them at the earliest. Thanks for watching.